Hello everyone, welcome to Casiano Easy Math. So this video is about solving this uh, exponential and radical equation. The 16th root of 16 raised to the power x squared minus x minus 6 equals 1. And we're going to find the value of x to satisfy the equation. For those new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. Alright, let's start solving the problem. Alright, the equation. 16 to the power x squared minus x minus 6. The 16 root equals 1. So the next step over here is uh, getting rid of that uh, 16 root of this uh, term right here on the left. So we have to raise the whole equation to exponent 16. So this is now... 16x squared minus x minus 6, the 16th root of it, equals 1 raising 2 to the power of 16. So the equation now turns to 16 root of 16 to the power x squared minus x minus 6 equals 1. So we're getting the uh, 16th power of And from here, 16th power of the 16th root of this term, 16th power, and the 16th root is now gone. So this turns out to be just uh, 16 to the power x squared minus x minus 6. 1 to the 16th power is 1. And from here, this equation can now be solved in two ways. By using the natural logarithm or the common logarithm, log of this term and the log of logarithm of 1 on the right side, or we just manipulate the other way to do it is manipulate the, the constant 1 on the right side of the equation. And this turns now to 1 could be written the same way as 16 raised to the 0 power. Since any number raised to 0 equals 1, so 16 to the 0 is 1. So the equation now turns out to be 16 to the power x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 16 raised to the power 0. Now if you notice the uh, left and right side of the equation have the same base, now we can equate the exponent. So the equation now turns out to be x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. So this is now a quadratic equation, so we can use factoring or using the quadratic formula to solve for the value of the variable x. From here, I'm using factoring to solve for the variable x. So let's do that. Okay, factor of x squared, you got both x and x right there. Factor of 6 is 3 and 2. And since the value of the sign of the second term is negative, it's a greater value takes the negative sign. Small value, positive, positive sign. Now we equate to zero. And now equating these uh, factors to zero. Left side is now x plus two equals to zero. Right side, x minus three equals to zero. From here, simplifying this equation, x is equals to negative two. The right side now x is equals to three. So we found the value of x, negative two and three. If we were to check our answer again, so we have to substitute the value of x to the original equation, where the original equation was uh, 16 to the power x squared minus x minus 6. The 16th root is equal to 1, and this is just a fast check. Alright, so substitute the value of x. First, substitute negative 2. I have just uh, substituted the value of x, negative 2 over here. So now the exponent of this term now is uh, 16 raised to negative 2 squared, that's 4. And minus and minus, uh, that becomes plus 2 and minus 6. And if you notice, this turns out to be 0. So now the equation now becomes the 16th root of 16 raised to the 0 equals to 1 and 16 raised to the 0 power is 1 16 root of that equals 1 16 root of 1 is 
is just one so one is equal to one all right so negative two is okay and positive three will just change the exponent positive three so you from up here ascend the exponent as positive three so that is now from here 16 x squared minus x minus six the exponent now become here assign x as three so 16 raised to 3 squared minus 3 minus 6 now the exponent turns out now to be 16 to the exponent 3 times 3 is 9 minus 3 minus 6 now the exponent now turns to 16 raised to 9 minus 9 that's 0 so that's that is the same way the 16 root of 16 raised to 0 1 that's the same so 1 equals 1 all right that's the same way from here so we have just confirm our answer x is negative 2 and x positive 3 all right so that's all for now and for those new to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos i would appreciate it thank you for watching thank you for your time have a great day everyone i will see you in the next videos bye